Okay, I am live. It is uh, Wednesday. Um, well, what is the date today? Today is the 9th. Wednesday the 9th, December 9th. And I'm going to do a live chat hangout. Uh, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds, if you don't already know me. Um, if you subscribe to the channel, thank you for that. And if you, um, oh, I got to turn my volume down over here. There we go. Um, I have it up on my phone as well. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Then when I go live like this, you will get notifications about that. And also follow me on Instagram. I put the notifications out there uh, that I'm going to be either going live. And this is more or less like a pop-up sale today. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, kind of chat, live chat, and then um, uh, and then I'm going to do like a 10 under 10 live sale, but I have other things. Um, it's a lot of vintage Christmas and, um, I've been showing these, I've been trying to do live sales a few times and I showed some things, um, like I did like a whole review of everything that I have and I've actually sold items from that. Um, for anybody who's, uh, seen that, uh, you can um, go back into um, a couple, one or two Wednesdays ago. Um, I did like it was a live sale, but it turned more like more or less like a preview. Um, and it was uh, with uh, it was with uh, Green Bee, Green Bee Explorer. And um, so of that, I sold the, the Lefton Hollyberry uh, teapot. Um, that actually sold though on Etsy. So I don't know if the person saw it on here or if they saw it on Etsy, um, probably saw it on Etsy though. But, um, anyways, that one sold. Then the treasure craft, the, um, the owl ashtray that actually sold as well. And that sold after the sale. Um, my one friend who actually lives up the street was, um, in the chat and she bought it, uh, as a Christmas present for her friend. And then, um, uh, oh, what was the other thing? Oh, the R2, the R2-D2, the mug. And he had like a Santa hat on it. And I had them all taped up because when you open them, he plays a song. And I didn't want to play that song because uh, uh, it's, <laughs> and uh, it had original tags. It was from uh, Hallmark and uh, all that was on there. So it had a little bit of uh, provenance uh, with it. Um, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure that, um, and that actually sold on my eBay. Um, again, you know, I tell everybody that, you know, go to my shops, you know, I have my eBay and Etsy and make sure to favorite me as a seller there. And, um, uh, and, and that way, when I do list stuff, um, you can find me really easily. And if, um, you, uh, uh, you know, or the other way to, to do it is uh, to email across the bottom of the screen there. It says, email me at leftlanefinds at gmail.com. So if you see something that um, didn't get claimed on a live sale, um, or maybe you saw it in one of my haul videos, um, feel free to email me and uh, ask me about it. I sometimes d um, discuss the prices that I think I might uh, list things for in my haul videos, but... Um, uh oh oh let's see here get my hair out of the way i hate that <laughs> i have only <laughs> my i put hairspray on but boy it doesn't seem to hold <laughs> i have such curly hair um and uh so uh yeah so you can always email me for you know ask me any questions ask me prices things like that and i can figure out what the shipping would be for you and i can invoice you uh on paypal and um so um let me it's going to be one o'clock shortly here and as soon as it is one o'clock i'm going to do a little countdown i'm going to get ready to do that um now i know some of the other um thrifter resellers also have their live sales around this time 
um, and a lot of people attend those, um, which is fantastic. I was, I thought that um, one of them got canceled today, and so I decided to take the slot, but I think I'm wrong about that, which is fine. But anybody who happens to come over here has a better chance of getting an item because there's going to be a lot less people watching here. Now, I would love to have 100, 200, 300 people watching, um, but if I only get 5, 6, 10, that would be fine too. And okay, so... I'm going to do my little countdown. And welcome back. Uh, let me put my comments on so I can actually see them. Oh, Green Bee. Hello, Green Bee. <laughs> Wasn't sure if you were going to be able to join the chat. And little Lola is taking a, a nap. And who's Lola? Lola is our new puppy. She is so cute. She's a little Jack Russell Terrier. And she's absolutely adorable. Um, and so she has been popping up in the chats. And... There are videos on both my channel um, and Green Bee Explorer's channel. If you're not already subscribed to her channel, subscribe to her channel. She does a vlog um, and she does cooking recipes and gardening. And now she's doing puppy videos and um, she does uh, some travel videos when she has a chance to get away. Sometimes she's traveling for work or um, other um, personal reasons. And then she, uh, she does videos of that too. And of course, I'm reselling. So all of my videos are all thrift hauls and shop with me and challenges. I just recently did a um, uh, a challenge where it was uh, tell a funny Christmas story. So I did that one. That's a short one. It's only about five minutes, uh, but uh, it's been popular. So uh, if you want to go check that out, that'd be uh, fun to watch. Um, now, here's something that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so um, Alyssa, who's Green Bee Explorer, was helping me um, organize my emporium up here um, where I keep all my inventory and do all my shipping and take all my pictures and all that. And underneath, um, I have a day bed up here because this is also going to kind of double as a guest room as well. And under the day bed, I wanted to put all my shipping materials, but I had a stack of like old books under there. And I kind of forgot they were under there. And two of them I thought were really interesting. Uh, they're little golden books. So I found this one under there. Now these are not going to be for sale. I'm actually going to incorporate these. Oh, look at that. Isn't, these are, oh, and look, it's got all the like Sesame Street and Disney characters back there. Um so I'm going to incorporate this into my Christmas decor. So you'll see it. Now this one is from 19, 1987. So <laughs> it looks older. I think it's the way they did it. It looks a lot older than, uh, uh, and it has seen better days. I, this had some uh, little issues here. Um, let's see, here. oh, look, there's a nice picture. I always get this wrong. There we go. Nice picture. So this isn't obviously super vintage. It's vintage enough. Oh, it's got, oh, I like that. Like the Christmas tree with all the little birds. That is so neat. If I was to sell this because it's not in very good condition, someone could easily like take a page out like that and do something with it. Either junk journaling or uh, put it in a frame Maj Paj it to something. There's so many creative ideas. Let's see if there's anything else interesting in here. Oh, we have Grandma with the kitty cat here. There's there's Grandma sitting with her kitty cat on the shelf. And what else? Let's see what else is in here. I think this might have, maybe it got some, I don't know, not water damage, but 
and there's again the tree and then oops, let me do it this way there we go and all of the grandkids with grandma oh they <laughs> was the tree too tall because i think they're uh hold on Let's see if i can get it this way they are cutting a hole it looks like in the floor because the tree was too tall i hope not <laughs> oh my goodness that's exact look the tree is so tall they put it through three stories of the house i hope not <laughs> i didn't actually look at this book book before this is my first time looking through this book um but yeah so this one would probably be a good one to, uh, you know, take apart and do something with. But I'm actually just going to display it, you know, as is. I'm not going to do anything to it. Um, needs a little cleaning up. It looks like it needs a little white down there. And I'm going to keep and put that in my Christmas decor. Now, there was a second one. And look at the colors on this one. This is the Christmas Bunny. Also a golden book. And he is so awesome. Look at him. And again, it's the same back with all the little characters on the back. Let's see what year this is from. This is, it says um, 1994. Uh, this was reprinted, but it was actually done in 1996. I mean, I'm sorry, 19, 1966. So the story, I guess, is from 1966, but this is like a reprint. Um, uh, that was done in 1994. The Christmas Bunny. It's got his little umbrella. And oh, there's there's Santa. And he was taking a nap. There's a couple of dogs or a dog sleeping at his at the foot of the bed. Oh, well, somehow I think the Easter Bunny there, without reading the story, he might be trying to take over for Santa. Maybe trying to convince Santa to take a day off. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. That would be cool just to display that like that. <laughs> People are like, what's going on? Why is there an Easter Bunny? Why is there a Christmas Bunny? <laughs> Oh, this is a nice one. Look at this one. Oh, I like that. If you just open the book up to this and like prop it up, that would be awesome looking. So I got to think how I want to display it. That's actually a good, that's a good way to display it. Santa with the reindeer. We got Mrs. Santa and the dog in the background. Here's another good one. The, I just love the graphics on all these. So I'm assuming this is the graphics that were, you know, back in 1966, and then they're just reprinting it when they reprinted the book. Like this is originally how it was drawn. Oh, look at those faces. Look how awesome is that? Oh, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting notifications. Oh. Uh, Oh no, I guess something happened. He looks a little scared. <laughs> oh, let's look how cute that is. Look how cute. That's awesome. Oh, and then he gave Santa. A present that's a picture of him and Santa together so cute that's really neat looking too now this book is in much better condition I would not take this apart um, I'm gonna use it in my own decor oh I have my tissue in my hand um, and then I'm gonna consider selling this one so we'll see I don't know yet what I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna keep the other one for a bit so I might sell these eventually, but I'm going to use them in my Christmas decor this year. So 
uh, they might be up for sale either after Christmas or, um, you know, maybe next year I'll put them back up. So uh, still waiting for anybody to show up for the chat. Although um, I think I saw that there was multiple people doing live sales at the moment. <laughs> And maybe I should reschedule this one again too. I just uh, I uh, I just can't I just can't get it together at the moment. What I think I'm going to do though is I think I'm still going to host my the ten under ten sale, even though there's nobody in the chat to claim the items, and that way um, anybody watching the replay can get in touch with me, um, email me, uh, or you can always send me the, uh, like a DM through Instagram. Um, but I think, um, th the better way to do it is, uh, through the, the emails. Um, so that would be a good way to, to get a hold of me. So, um, let's just start this off here. Ooh, already knocking things over. So, I did hear some chatter somewhere because people were talking about this. I had mentioned this the last time I showed these. Um, so these Christmas ties, it's got Christmas, or it's got, um, yeah, it's all Christmas themed, but one has Santa golfing. This one's like, blue a blue background with the green christmas trees there and he's golfing and then this one has um it's got like a hair holly oh my gosh i can't talk holly berry pattern up here on the the top part of the tie and then this is almost yeah it's like a, it's almost black it's yeah it's definitely like a black color with the old-fashioned santa on it if you guys can see that. So um, I'm going to do these ties. So for my 10 under 10, I'm doing both these ties together as a set. Um, and what I found in the people were chattering about this is that people do use these for um, projects. So they can be incorporated into uh, decor. I'm, I'm assuming they cut them up. Um, or I'm sure they're very creative with them. They could probably put them in wreaths or, or somehow incorporate them. You don't have to cut them up, but um, I'm going to do both ties together for $9. Um, and this is going to be number... Um, oh, I didn't put any numbers down. Oh, oh no. So I'm going to make up a number. I'm going to say this is number 12. Number 12, $9 for the Christmas dies. And I'm going to put that down here. Okay. So there we go. Got that done. And let's see here the next thing. Oh, I do have mystery boxes, but they are not going to be included in the 10 under 10. Oh, hello, Tina B. I uh, was, oh, I ship from Michigan. And uh, so something like the ties that I was just showing, they're very light. So their shipping would be minimal on that. But I would, depending on where you are, um, I would, uh, you know, I'll invoice you the price of the item along with the shipping based on your zip code. And you would know that. Uh, when I invoice you and then you can decide um, if you um, still want the item or not um, uh, based on all that. I would imagine something like that's really light so that wouldn't have hardly any shipping. But let me go on to um, my next item. So let's see what I have here. Okay so now this isn't vintage Christmas but this is long a long a burger. Um, it's one of their Crocs and um has the label down there so this 
Um, some now this one doesn't have the lid. I know they do sell them with the lids, but this one when I found it didn't have a lid. Um, but they're still very usable, so so easy to incorporate into um, your uh, decor. And I'm looking on my list here, and so this one is going to be nine dollars, and it's number fifteen. Nine dollars, number fifteen. Oh, you're in Ohio? That's cool. So you're not too far away. I'm always traveling through Ohio because I'm originally from Pennsylvania. I have a bunch of family and friends back in PA. We just sold our house there, um, even though we moved to Michigan like two years ago. So I was traveling back and forth across Ohio a bunch of times. <laughs> um, so let me just write this down that I've said that this is number 15, nine dollars for the Longaburger crock. I'm still going to host my live sale, the 10 under 10, even um, though there's not very many people here because uh, people watch the replay and they can always get the item on the replay. So um, let me look here at my. I want to see. Oh, yes. Let me do that. Okay. So I have this. This is a Ray Dunn nice uh, creamer, a little pitcher. And it doesn't have any chips or cracks. Everybody wants to know that this is in perfect condition. And this is also going to be $9. Lots of things for uh, around that price. <laughs> and if you want this one, it's going to be number two. Number two. And I got to write, I got to write down my numbers. Because I'm kind of making, I'm making the numbers up on the fly. And where I just saw that on my list, where to go? You'll have to bear with me while I try to do this by myself. Usually, uh, Green Bee is here to help me. Oh, there it is. Okay, number two. Okay. Okay, so this is a leptin. A holly, the holly berry dish, a little nut dish. You can see the little feet on the bottom. When I initially saw it, I thought it was one of those hobbyist pieces, but then I noticed that and I realized it was made by a real like pottery company. And when I looked it up, it was it was left in. Now this one, like most of these type of holly dishes, they it does have a little chip. This one's on the underneath there and there's another one right there so oh i'm sorry there's a few right there and right there so this one's got multiple little chips on it and then i also noticed it missed the glaze right there that is not a chip it doesn't have a glaze oh there's another chip so this is going to be nine dollars it still looks fantastic but it would look great in your holiday decor it, it looks fantastic otherwise i know some people you know want everything to be perfect but when these are getting more and more vintage uh, they're going to have some you know defects to them so uh, nine dollars and this one is going to be number 18. number 18 for the leptin holly um this is the single leaf the single leaf one and I'm going to put that down. Number 18. Number 18 for the holly. Now, I'm going to show you another one. Oh, no. You know what? I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to get this instead. So, this is the Starbucks 
poinsettia. It's like kind of an artistic um, interpretation. The Starbucks with the gold blocks on it. Starbucks mug. So this isn't vintage. This is um, 2014. But again, great for decor. Obviously, it's just cool to maybe drink your hot chocolate out of it while you're opening your Christmas presents. And it's not so, like, it's kind of subtle Christmas. It's not, it's more of an artistic, it's supposed to be a poinsettia. And this is also going to be $9. And $9, and uh, let me guess, um, I'll make it number 23. Number 23 for the Starbucks mug. $9. Ooh. Knocking into things. Uh oh, uh, let me find that on my list here because I have a lot of things written down. Um, boy, I could really use your help, Green Bee. <laughs> so, yeah, the chips can be touched up. I've seen where people use black magic marker, and I was like. There's probably a hunter green magic marker out there that you can touch it up and make it look almost identical to to this. Um, I've seen that before um, on on items. Um, let's see here. So number where is that? On my list. Oh, it was on the other side. Number 23. So the Starbucks mug was $9, number 23. Now, let me, let me get this little item. So this, he's cute. So this is um, the little cat on the boot. I believe this is the, um, uh, the daisy, the daisy pattern. Made by Fenton. And I know these come in all different colors and they come with and without the cat. Um, and this I'm going to do for $7. $7. He would be great in Christmas decor, but he would actually be good in, in other decor or just as is. Uh, $7. And he's going to be number 17. Number 17 for the boot. $7. Ooh. Okay. All right. Let's see what else I can do. Oh, so let's um let's do a non-Christmas item. But you can you can certainly incorporate him into your Christmas decor if you want. Uh, let's see here. What do I have him for? Okay. So the little cat figurine. It's a little praying cat. And she has a little green bow on the back. And there's the bottom. And she doesn't have any chips or cracks. She's in perfect condition. And I would believe it's Japanese, even though, just by the way the face is painted, even though the bottom is not marked. It might have had a sticker on it at one point. But she is going to be $8.00. And I'm going to make her number 33. $8, number 33. So for anybody watching this on the replay, uh, feel free to email me at theleftlanefinds uh, at gmail.com if you like the um, a particular item. And uh, just reference, you know, the item, you know, the description or the item number. Um, and uh, uh, what I would need to be able to invoice you is your PayPal email, your real name, your address, including zip code. And um, you can also reference, uh, you know, if your name on YouTube is different, reference that as well. And I will be able to invoice you uh, accordingly. Um, I can certainly 
you know, give you a quote before invoicing you um, if you're emailing me after the fact here. Uh, so let's see here. I want to do, uh, let's see what else. Oh, I'm going to do these. So I have these really cute moose canisters, these metal, it's a metal cat canisters. It's made in Taiwan. I don't think they're particularly vintage, but they kind of have that vintage look, but they, they have that cutesy kind of kitschy, you know, cartoonish look to them. And there's three graduated canisters in here. And there's the little one. So they all fit perfectly inside. Oh, let me get the lid on that one. Um, so this would be easy to ship. They don't weigh a lot either. So same with the other things. Most of the things I'm showing you don't weigh a lot. So the shipping isn't going to be, you know, too outrageous. Um, now, some of the fragile stuff I have to, you know, wrap in bubble wrap and get it into the nice size box. And so um, that might... Um, you know, make it a little more because I can't sell, send that. <laughs> I can't send that without, you know, protecting it. Um, so this is going to be, um, let me put this over here. Uh, this is going to be $9. I'm looking, where's my, I need my pen. Um, so it's going to be $9 and I'm going to make it number 26, $9, 26 for the moose set of three canisters. Ooh, I keep hitting stuff here. So where was that moose canisters? Because I saw them on here. Oh, there it is, okay. Number 26. Okay, so let me see. Did I do 10 yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And oh, I want to do another. Oh, here, we're going to do this one. So I have this snowman Christmas mug. I do believe he is more modern. He definitely looks like more modern. It's not marked on the bottom, but I love the browns with the blues and, and I just thought he was so cute. So he is going to be $8 and I'm going to make him for eight, number eight, $8, number eight, or the snowman mug. And I gotta find him on my list. Hopefully this doesn't make it too awkward when watching the replay <laughs> that I have to very slowly keep the, try to keep myself um, organized here. Uh, let's see here. Where is he? Now I have things that are, you know, I'm doing the 10 under 10, but I do have things that are going to be over 10. Um. Oh, there he is. Oh, you know what? What did I say? Eight dollars for him? Nope. I'm going to discount him. He's going to be $6. $6 for the snowman mug. Number, number eight. Number eight. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more item under 10. And what is it going to be? Oh, I know what it's going to be. This is so pretty. And this is signed. 
This is signed by Mark Hansen. It's signed on the front right there, but it also has a lot of information on the back. It's called, it's Winter Splendor, a garden song. Well, it's, uh, it says Hamilton Collection in, associated, in association with Wild Wings proudly presents Winter Splendor by Mark Hansen, a garden song plate collection. So it, it has gold trim on it. It's got the two cardinals, the male and female with the holly and the snow. This is just so awesome. It is numbered on the back. Now, some people, they, you know, they don't like the collection plates, but I thought a lot of people love cardinals. So this is going to be $9, and it's going to be number 29. Well, thank you. I'm doing fine. Yes, I'm practicing. Um, so thank you for hanging in there, Tina. I, I appreciate any and all support. And do you have a um, channel yourself? Do you, uh, do you have a YouTube channel? Because if you do, I want to plug your channel. Or you can plug it yourself in the, in the chat there. And, um, and Green Bee Explorer, she is, um, if she's still there. Although I don't know that she's still in the chat because, um, oh, not yet. You don't have a one yet. Okay. All right. So, um, so. Just real quick on this, this is going to be $9 for the plate, number 29. Um, where am I going to put this back where I got it? Uh, okay, and let me write that down. Um, let me find it on here. There it is, number 29. Are we having fun yet, people? <laughs> uh, so, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate that. There, you don't have to. You can always find me just by typing in the name and finding my channel. It's it's easier when you uh, subscribe uh, to the channels. Um, so, oh. Now, I already did all my, my 10 under 10s. However, I have these needlepoint Christmas stockings. It's got This one's the blue one with the holly and then the old fashioned Santa. And they are, they're both identical. I have two of them. So this is the blue one. And then it's got this like crushed velvet on the back. So the blue one, so I'm also doing these for $9. And the blue one, I'm going to make it number 13. The blue one, the blue stocking is number 13 for $9. And I just want to write that down. Now, I have all of this stuff listed up on eBay as well. So you can always just go to eBay. However, the prices on eBay are going to be different. Sometimes I do auctions. Sometimes I, I have higher prices. I don't normally, I wouldn't have lower prices. I'm, I'm giving deals here. This is getting, if you do the live sales, you get better deals. Because on eBay, I got to pay the fees on eBay. All right, so the next one here, this is the red Santa. And he's got the same, and they're both in perfect condition. There is just nothing wrong with them. There's the back of him. They're just super clean and pressed. They look like... They were never, I don't think, stuffed, but they were just used to hang and used as decor. So this is $9. And this one is going to be 19, number 19. So 
So the red Santa stocking is going to be nine dollars, number nineteen. And let me write that down. Now, in this box is a vintage Christmas. There is a few items in there. And though some of the boxes will have more items or less items, but I want to get the value in there for each mystery box. But these are going for $20.00. And there's mystery box number one, two, or three. So you can put it in the chat or maybe in the comments. That would work too. Or email me at leftlanefinds at gmail.com and say that you are interested in a vintage, the Vintage Christmas mystery box number one, two, or three. So you're not going to know what's in it, but I think you'll like what you get. There's some cute things in there, some awesome things. So those are $20 plus shipping. So everything, as everybody knows, it's plus shipping. So um, unless you don't know, then you know now. So the mystery boxes are also going to be plus shipping. I would think that, that the shipping on those would cost somewhere between... Um, Eight, eight and ten. Oh, excuse me, eight and ten dollars um, for the shipping on that. Uh, and so, if you're interested in that, just send me an email. Um, I, I was also thinking because um, I have a lot more followers on Instagram than here, so I think I'm going to offer them up there as well. Uh, one of the other reseller thrifters uh, did that. And uh, she was able to sell her mystery boxes extremely quickly. So um, I might just do that. That uh, so if you're if you're not if you don't get it here, you can possibly see it over there and get it there. Um, but it's going to be first come first serve. Uh, so I will check my email before I pop it up onto Instagram. I know they do. The mystery boxes do do good on Instagram. I've been I've been watching her do this. Um, she actually um, had she did two mystery boxes every Monday for the for weeks now, and uh, she sells them instantly. So it's it's like a, a, a good little thing to do. So um, yeah, I have three mystery boxes, and I think I'm going to definitely do that. Um, and. So there's just so many good ideas out there. And if it's working, um, then then I definitely want to do it. <laughs> definitely want to do that. It, mystery boxes even work. You can even sell them on eBay. Um, I don't know about Etsy. I haven't heard of anybody doing it there. But I know on eBay, you can pop a mystery box up there and people will buy it. Because <laughs> they like the mystery of it, which is hysterical. <laughs> and... Uh, you're more or less getting a deal on it too. So like the value of the items should exceed, you know, like the cost of, you know, the, you know, the $20. Um, oh, so you know who I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, is it um, Jamie? At, I, I want to make sure I get this right. Jamie at mid century wasted is doing that. Oh, they do good on Poshmark too. Oh, I didn't know that. I've never done mystery boxes on Poshmark. Yeah, I sell on there too. Ooh, well, thank you, thank you. Any other good, any other good ideas? <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> any ideas. <laughs> oh my gosh, I never thought to do a mystery box on Poshmark. What do they? I guess they do like. It must be like, oh, three tops in the same size, like for a particular season. Like it might be a summer tops or something like that or athletic tops or something like that. Oh, my. Oh, you're giving me a lot of ideas. Oh, I got to think about that. I don't know if Green Bee is still listening, but she will be all into that, all that. I think she had a conference. Um, she's actually working and she had a conference call, I think, between 
um, I think between one and two. So I don't know that she's here. Tops for summer. Oh my gosh. That just makes sense. Oh, how awesome is that? Or you could do, and I know it would probably be harder to do like where you have like a top, a necklace, uh, and maybe a handbag or something like that in the mystery in a mystery box. I don't know because people were funny about that. That would be that would be interesting. Oh, I bet a jewelry mystery box would work. Yeah, that would. Oh my goodness, you're giving me such good ideas. Okay. Um, oh, I want to put this guy up because he's good for all seasons and people and people have, that have been watching my videos have seen him like about four times now maybe four or five times um but i want to put him up on this this live sale too he is um he's going to be nine dollars for the owl and um it said he's made in italy you know what i just realized is i never took his little i got to get his little tag off him so it says, oh, let's see if I can get this right. There we go. Made in Italy, number 405. He doesn't have any chips or cracks. He's just hanging out, a little white owl. He'd be, you can put him right into your Christmas decor, but he would be great all year round. You could fit him into all your decor. Um, so he is going to be $9 and he's going to be number 27. Number 27 for the little ceramic owl. And do I even have him listed down here? Probably somewhere. Because he was supposed to be on that other one, other sale. Let's see here. I can hear my neighbor's dog barking. My little my little my little puppy's only seven weeks old in a couple days so she sleeps a lot but i think they sleep a lot anyways we had a jack russell once before and she used to just nap all the time um that's so funny i don't think i have him i'm gonna write it down right now so it was nine dollars number 27 um the owl the green okay you guys don't mind while i write things down and i'm gonna take a trip uh, i just love these i didn't realize they were having a sale on these uh pellegrinos um now I, you know i love this can you know what i'm constantly looking at now is advertising pieces and i was like this can is so awesome looking um and it will you know age well and become vintage at some point i'm like that would be awesome in decor it's got all kinds of let me see if i oh yeah so it's got all this dec like on it so i'm looking at all kinds of things like the when i was making pumpkin pies i was like oh look at this like that would be cool in some sort of decor you know but you have to you know you know it'd be modern for a while but it, it, again um the girl in your pick is a jack doxy mix oh you know oh yeah i love oh i love the dachshunds uh, well dachshunds dash hounds <laughs> dachshunds oh my god so cute so green bee if you look at green bee her picture in hers is a jack russell i know that this would be great and then they have pink ones and the orange ones and i was like this is a great advertising piece that um, you can incorporate, I mean, the, the, the decor tours that I've seen, people are so creative with them. It's not like the old days where you only decorated with modern commercial stuff that you just bought and things like people just go all out with their decor items and it's modern. It's, you know, it can be from the Dollar Tree. It could be from grandma's attic, all kinds of things like, ah. Oh, so I'm like, ooh, I'm like, you know, but you, you know, you feel like you're, I'm like, I don't want to, this is stuff I normally just recycle and don't think a thing about, but I'm like, how cool is that? 
And then 30 years from now, <laughs> will it be worth money? I don't know. <laughs> um, so I have, um, I have other things here I want to show you guys. So I showed this before a couple times now. This is one of those hobbyist pieces that was probably done in the 70s. Look at the detail on this. This sleigh. So um, I'm going to do him on this sale for $10. And he is going to be number 15. The sleigh is going to be $10, number 15. And let me write him down. Uh, let's see here. Mm, I gotta look, gotta look. So many things on the list. There it is. Number 15. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to do this guy over here because this is this awesome. Now it kind of shows up because my bright light, I think it shows up a little um, less green, but it's 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 a darker green here. It's showing up very white because of my, my bright light. I don't know that I can get it to, oh, there, with the shadow, you can see that it's more of a dark green. And it's like a relief on there it's a mountain scene and the rest of the the vase is white this is a hobbyist piece um this would be great having like those long sticks you know like the red ones or or something coming out of that maybe even holly holly sticks of some sort um so he is going to be um he's going to be twelve dollars this face is going to be $12 and he's going to be number 22, number 22 for the base. And let's see here. Oh, I have this guy. Ooh, let's see if I can get him out. He's always... Oh, He's trapped in there with the glasses. Ooh. So, um, let me find him on here. Oh, I saw him on the other side. Oh, maybe not. Wow, I really am not organized. I am not organized today. Could I? I swear I wrote him down. Oh, there it is. There he is. Okay. So, brass is the in thing. I just sold a set of brass candlesticks. Um, that I didn't, I didn't show them in a live sale or anything like that, but I did show them in a thrift haul. Um, they were the Baldwin brass candlesticks and I found him, um, in and around the same time I was finding the other brass items and I have, oh, I have brass, um, candlestick holders that go up on the wall and those were home interiors. So they're from like the eighties, I think from the eighties. 70s 80s something like that so this guy he's got some weight to him he's he's heavy and he's he's sizable too um i don't know how to i don't know how long he is i can't remember but he's longer than my hand so we'll say he's somewhere around 10 9 to 10 inches long i guess um and he's a planter and i think he might have had some dirt in him at one point and he does have a sticker on the bottom and the sticker is um, really hard to read. Oh, it just says about um, cleaning with a damp cloth. Um, so something about, oh, the Curio 
and it says in the USA. So I guess it's made. Oh, and it says made in Taiwan. So it was made in Taiwan. But brass is so in, and he can be decorated all all different ways. All which ways I was going to say. Um, so much you can do for him, and he would look great on like a bookshelf. I think he's heavy enough that he would be a good um, like on a bookshelf holding the books up like a bookend. Uh, so he is going to be eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars, and I'm going to make him number thirty. Eighteen dollars, number thirty for the brass duck. Ooh, I'm going to get up and, and put him down here properly. And let me put his number down. So I remember that. And oh, okay. Yep. Nice chatting with you, Tina. Yes, we all know about taking the dogs out. <laughs> I've been taking the puppy out uh, continuously. Um, like every time she she naps a lot, and then every time she she wakes up, out the door she goes. She's been good with that. Um, but she is still really young, and we still have to, you know, keep working on her, her, you know, house training. Or house was it house? I can't remember how they say that now. <laughs> house breaking <laughs> um so let's see did i do that did i do this i don't think i did this okay so i also have this which green bee and i had a discussion about this the last time i showed this and it has like a slot right here and we're thinking it's a spoon rest it would look great in decor or candy dish or nuts or anything like that um but it also would look great just as kitchen decor and um this is also a hobbyist piece and i know there's lots and it it goes right in with you know all these other pieces in terms of being almost like the same green um and uh and it actually matches the sleigh might have been you know might have been painted by the same person um so this um i was going to do for uh ten dollars ten dollars for the bell ten dollars for the ceramic holly bell and i'm going to make him number six ten dollars for the bell number six So many good vintage items. I know I'm a small channel and I don't get as many views as the big channels do. But the big channels, it's there's a huge amount of competition with the bigger channels. Um, and it's hard to get things over there. It's much easier to get the items for me because I'm a small channel. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> Is that like, it's almost like bribing you. Like, please come to my channel <laughs> because I have... I have things that uh, there's. It's easier to get them. Of course, they're all listed up on eBay, and some are cross posted to Etsy. Um, and let me find this one on here. Where is the bell? Okay. Oh, I have something I, re I really want to show you guys because I don't think I showed it to you before. Oh my goodness, where is the bell on here? This is getting harder and harder. So I think I'm going too fast or something. Huh. Maybe I never wrote it down. All right. I'm going to write it down now. So it was number six, $10, the green bell. Okay. All righty. There we go. And let's see, how long have I been on? Oh, almost an hour. That's cool. Um, now. This, I haven't had a chance to list up on 
when um oh. <laughs> I put him back together there. I haven't had a chance to list him up on eBay yet. But this is a vintage tree topper. He does work on my last uh, video that I showed this to you guys. I plugged him in. Let's see if I can plug him in here. Show you that. Oh, there we go. Let me just pull that up a little bit. So there he he lights up. Nice little vintage tree topper. It has a tag on there that says it's from Kmart or somewhere. Oh, it's down by. I oh, know where it is. It's down there. And you can and it has something to you can hang him like if you want to hang him on the wall or incorporate him into your decor and not have him as a tree topper. That actually works if you guys can see that right there. So he's yellow tinsel with like the red red bulbs in there. So he kind of he. He kind of shines orange um, because of that. Uh, so he's got his little thing for the tree topper. I actually saw somebody who did um, like a vignette on their mantle and they used one of these and plugged it in and then they, you know, had all the decor around it and it looked fantastic. Um, and hers was, it was all like pinks. It was awesome. I don't even know how she found a pink star. Maybe that was a thing back in the day. Um, but yeah, this was sold back in Kmart back in the day, and it is definitely vintage. Um, I'm looking to see where. Hmm. I know it said Kmart somewhere on here. Oh, there it is on this tag, on this tag right here. Okay, so this is going to be uh, $10. $10, and I'm going to make it number. 16 ten dollars for the the star the tinsel star ten dollars for the tinsel star oh what number did i just say oh my goodness <laughs> i don't remember the number i just said <gasps> uh Number 16? Was that the number? <laughs> I think it was number 16. We're going to make it number 16 for the star. <laughs> oh, that's terrible because I'm making up the numbers on the fly and I don't have a helper. Oh, my goodness. And then I get discombobulated because it's nerve wracking during these live sales. And okay. Um, oh, so this is what I want to show you guys because I did not show you. <gasps> Whoa, everything's falling over. Let me move this back. Let me get this off of here. Okay. So, this, I don't think. I showed this on any of the live sale videos. This is like a table topper. Let's see if I can get back far enough. It's the Last Supper. It's in perfect condition. It's handmade. Let's see all that. It. We're about to get the tag thingy off of it, the plastic thing. Um, I was in the linen section and I saw it and I'm like, oh, I just don't want this to go to the landfill. So I picked it up. Um, it's back. It has a red, red backing. And you can see that it was like hand stitched there. Mach you know, well, I mean, on a machine. Hand done on a machine. It seems mach machine sewn. But there is awesome looking does that have a price tag on it oh no that was something else on the back oh so let me just fold this back up so i was gonna do twelve dollars on the last supper uh table topper 
it would also work as a, a as a wall hang but you would have to figure out how to make it hang oh i said 16 on that thank you yes i i did write that down for the tinsel tree topper thank you green bee so the last supper is going to be um twelve dollars and i'm going to make it number uh let's say oh let me make sure i'm going to say 20 23 nope not 23 i already did that one make it 24 then so it's going to be 12 dollars number 24 12 dollars number 24 And I don't know that I wrote that one down. Oh, right there it is, number 24. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did not show that on the last video. Okay, so, oh, one more, one more item. I have more items, but I think I'm gonna end this. It's been an hour here. Um, so this is um, Atlantic Mold. This is a double holly leaf candy dish, nut dish. And back there it says Atlantic Mold. So this was a hobbyist piece. And um, let me see if this one yeah, has little chips, well, some little chips right there and a chip here another one there some paint missing yeah there's chips there's chips all along the edge of it so i'm going to make him um i think i'm going to make him the i think i'm going to make him like ten dollars is he still vintage um ten dollars and I'm going to make him number 31. $10, 31 for the double holly leaf dish. $10, number 31. I'm repeating that so I remember the number two. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. I know he's on here. Here it is. Number 31. Okay. So. I was hoping more people would come out and like hang out and chat, but there was only a couple people. I know everybody's over at uh, Misty Sale. Um, she is, um, you know, she's a she has quite the following, um, thrifter, junker, vintage hunter, and I also saw that um, uh, Jocelyn from. Um, the crazy lamp lady she was live uh, earlier i don't know if hers was just a short one or if she's still going with hers but i know she has you know she always gets hundreds of people <laughs> on hers <sighs> so it's tough it's tough being um a, a small little channel i have over 100 uh subscribers now which is awesome and um you know a few months from now i i'm pretty sure i'll be you know um, up there in numbers and then uh, this will be easier and less nerve-wracking it's certainly nerve-wracking when you do this and you don't have the people coming to the you know to the sales but that doesn't mean I'm not selling things in fact um, tomorrow I have a solds video coming out um, it will go live at six o'clock in the morning on my channel and it reviews everything I've been selling and my margins and all kinds of interesting information. Um, so um, even though this hasn't been all that successful for me, I, um, I do sell, um, uh, I think, a decent amount for um, being um, a smaller part-timer person kind of doing this. I, I sell on you know, eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. I sold something on Instagram the other the other day and if i put these mystery boxes up there on instagram i can say i sold more things uh so i think i'm going to do that as soon as i end this broadcast um and well maybe not as soon that's right uh, i was going to wait 
Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or Friday. Maybe Friday. I think maybe Friday I'll put those up. That would be a good day. Friday, and then I can mail them out on Saturday if people, you know, get them and pay for them right away. That would work. So um, hopefully uh, you guys uh, enjoy this content. You can give me that thumbs up uh, in the video and subscribe to my channel. And down below um, I in the description, I'll put all of the links to my social media, all of my platforms. And also uh, make sure to subscribe to Green Bee Explorer's channel. Um, sorry, no Lola today, uh, but she will she she will be in future videos. I I promise you, and I will see you guys next time. I'm going to end end this right now. Oh.